Hey guys, what's up? It's Dark Mac here and welcome back to another two minute tank guide for Alifar, Normal and Heroic in the Battle of Dazar Alor. Today we're doing King Rustican and there's no way I'm getting this one done in two minutes either guys. There's just way too much to cover, but I'll get it done as quick as I can. Two tank fight, four phases. Phase one, uh, you're going to tank Rustican over by the left wall, well away from everybody else. This is the easiest way I've actually found to do this boss so far. And you're gonna have another tank on the three mini bosses on Heroic or two mini bosses on Normal near the middle. Uh, now the first thing that the Rustican tank needs to worry about is Scorching Detonation. Five second channel on the tank, at the end you explode for damage, Reduce based on distance, so run away. Ra Rustican's also going to send out Plague Toads. He summons three Toads that move off towards different areas of the room. Uh, if they hit anyone, they take damage, it's stacking, and they leave green pools on the ground, though the pools are only left on the ground in Heroic. Now, Phase 1 is pretty much made up of the three mini-bosses on Heroic, or two in Normal. Uh, Rustican joins the fight 15 seconds after we start. Now the three mini bosses are Prelate Zalan. Um, she has Seal of Purification. It's a laser beam that chases random players. Siege Breaker Roka does a meteor leap and then jumps back to the tank, putting Crushing Leap on them. Uh, you get a debuff from that, which increases your damage taken by the next Crushing Leap for, by 500%. Now you can either tank swap on this uh, or you can use a big CD for the next Crushing Leap, or you can have a DPS Taunt Siege Breaker just before the next Crushing Leap goes off. Uh, Either way, do whatever you're comfortable with. The third mini boss uh, ad, which is in heroic only, is Headhunter Galwana. She throws an axe at people, leaves a dot on them, and they need to be healed above 80%, uh, 90%, sorry, to get rid of that dot. Now, Rustican is also going to cast a Greater Serpent Totem. It's a frontal cone. You don't want to stand in front of the snake's face, but that is on Heroic only. He also is affected by Binding Soul, which all damage dealt to Rustican is split between three mini bosses. Uh, good groups can actually leave Rustican in with the mini bosses. It causes them to die a hell of a lot quicker. However, if you're struggling or being overwhelmed with the amount of mechanics in this fight, it's far easier to do it the way I am showing you. Phase two is where Rustican actually starts taking damage, and Buan Samdi is going to join in. You need one tank on Buan Samdi and one tank on Rastakhan, and we're going to swap them places. So Buan Samdi is going to go over to the left far wall where I had Rastakhan at the start, and Rastakhan is going to come out to where you were tanking the mini bosses. Now your raid needs to be making sure that they're switching to Zombie Dust Totem. Uh, Rastakhan is going to spawn this, it MC someone, you need to kill it ASAP. Uh, the raid also needs to be sure that they're spread seven yards because there's a fire debuff that goes out called Plague, uh, Plague of Fire. It explodes and deals damage to anyone within seven yards so just be aware of this. Uh, the tank on Bonsamdi, you are going to be getting a stacking debuff. You can clear it with AMS or a bubble. If you don't have this option, you will need to tank swap. Just use it on the Scorching Detonation, have the tank run over towards you, taunt swap, and away you go. Phase three is going to begin when Rastakhan hits 60% and it's going to end when Bonsamdi hits 50%. And this is the DPS uh, race and this is generally where you're going to Hero or Bloodlust. Uh, now, when Buon Samdi begins casting Buon Samdi's boon, you as the tank on Buon Samdi are going to leg it away from him. You're going to be sending down a DPS group and a couple of healers, and they're going to get sucked in by Buon Samdi. So you want to get the fuck away, and they're going to run over to him. In the living realm, uh, Rastakhan is going to keep doing the same thing, so make sure you're still uh, swapping to the zombie totem as soon as it pops. Phantom adds are now going to spawn around the room, and these actually spawn from the two or the three mini bosses that you killed at the start. Soft CC works like slows and things like that. Hard CC won't though. The kill order for this is Retribution, the Slaughter ad if you're in Heroic, then the Rage ad. Remember in Normal you only have the Retribution and then the Rage ad. Uh, the Slaughter ad will do a five second channel on a player. Only that targeted player can interrupt that channel. Um, if you don't have an interrupt to do it or you can't get to him, you're going to need to be spot healed. There's going to be green little circles on the ground. You need to make sure that you soak them. Otherwise, the whole raid's going to get whacked with damage. It's one person per soak. You need to dodge the dread reaping that's going to be coming out from the death rifts. They're little green sort of shadow circles. Just don't get hit by them. Uh, and in phase four, guys, it's just a race between cleaning everything up. You still need to dodge Plague Toads. You still need to stay spread seven yards. Rastakhan is now going to start casting Buon Samdi's Inevitable Reaping. When he does this, you need to run away from him. You will be sucked in. And that is pretty much it, guys. If there's any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks very much for checking out the video, and I'll see you all next time. See you, fam. Shadow.